Hi everyone, this is Bart Walczak for Dutch Studio. I'm proud to present you a great script for After Effects, which will trim the media in your project to the parts which are actually used, and uh, then uh, relink to these files and uh, prepare your project for archiving or transferring to another user or workstation. The script is called Trim and Collect, and now let me walk you through how it works. I have a sample project here which has some very strange files like uh, RE roll files, Cinema DNG files, EXR image sequences, and your standard ProRes for the two files, and a lot of other stuff that usually you can find in After Effects projects. So, if I want to prepare this project uh, for archiving using the Trim and Collect script, First I have to point it to the directory where uh, the files will be uh, rendered to. So I have created here a folder called archive uh, and I'll point my script to this. Then here I have a number of uh, settings uh, that uh, will be used when your files will be trimmed. So uh, I highly recommend that you create uh, the 32-bit uh, render setting uh, for this because if you have raw files or files with super wides then uh, this setting is going to help you preserve the additional data. And now for output modules, we have separate settings for files without alpha channel, and here I use ProRes 422HQ, and uh, for files with alpha channel here I use uh, ProRes 444. On Windows I recommend you use uh, Cineform, because it's a nice intermediate codec, and it's going to preserve as much information as uh, possible. Next, you can specify how many frames of handles you want to add to uh, each trimmed media. And also, if you have multiple instances uh, of the media on your timeline or in your multiple compositions, you can make the script uh, consolidate uh, gaps between these instances into a single uh, file. Of course, all these settings can be saved as defaults, uh, so next time you open the script, you don't have to pick the options again and uh, you simply press proceed. And now let's move to the Processing tab. Here is the place where you can add scripts that uh, you might want to run before the project starts uh, converting the media and relinking the media. By uh, pressing the plus key, uh, you will be able to select a script to run, and then if you want to remove it, simply click on the script and, uh, uh, and click the uh, minus button. I'm not going to run any scripts here, and as well as I'm not going to transcode image sequences. You can if you want, however uh, normally it will only copy the ranges that uh, are used, so it's going to trim the sequences. And if you're using DPX files and uh, or, or TIFF files, perhaps you might not want to transcode them into a video file. Also, if you are using OpenEXR, especially multi-channel uh, OpenEXR, you do not want to transcode these because you will be losing information that is stored in the extra channels uh, in the OpenEXR files. So you definitely want to be careful with uh, this setting. But it's here if you, for some reason, need it. After the footage is trimmed, it can be imported into a folder of your choice. If you check uh, this setting and then either type in the folder, the name of the folder that uh, you want to uh, create or simply point to the folder and click on this uh, button which will remember the folder uh, and uh, then even if it's not present in the project it will create this folder and import the media into this folder. I'm not going to import this the media to another folder, I'm going to let the script import them where they were originally stored. And finally, after the trimmed media is imported and uh, relinked to, um, then uh, we have options for collecting files. Normally, the script will not collect uh, Cinema 4D files because with the CC 2014.1, there's a nice feature that if you have Cinema 4D files in your project, like I have here, for example, by running collect files, it's going to parse the file and then it's going to also collect uh, the textures which are present in the project. So if you have no textures or if you don't care for uh, saving the textures, you, you can check this option on and it's going to simply copy these files uh, to the destination directory. This is actually what I'm going to do. And uh, also, if you for some reason want to copy entire uh, image sequences 
or entire uh, OpenEXR uh, sequences, then you can also specify it here. Or if you have many Cinema 4D files and you want to make sure that uh, every texture is copied and you don't want to do it manually, you can simply choose not to collect files and uh, this will require you to do uh, the file uh, dependencies collect files after the script is run to make sure that all the files are collected. And also for this panel you can save the settings as defaults. So all now that is left to do is to click proceed and uh, let the script do its job. If you have DNG files in your script then you will be warned uh, that because of the limitation of After Effects importing you will have to manually confirm each linking and reimport of uh, each DNG sequence. There is nothing we can do about it, unfortunately, because every time the DNG is, file is uh, uh, imported into the project, After Effects is displaying the camera raw dialog box over which scripting has no control. As you can see, EXR files are copied, RE raw files were copied, and now, now the video files are being uh, trimmed, and once it's uh, finished with uh, trimming, you will notice the Cinema DNG issue. I have to confirm the dialog box and done! Here is the archive project and as you can see trimmed files are collected and your project is ready for archival. So I hope you find this very useful and let it save you Time, money and disk space.